Hello, YouTube. Welcome back to one more marathon. Uh, this time with Pericles, who is an incredibly powerful leader, a vanilla leader that continues to be very, very good. Hoplite's gotten some recent love. Acropolis is an amazing district. Surrounded by glory makes us want Apadana real bad style. Um, it's a pretty interesting spawn. Single continent from what I can tell, but we've got a mountain range, so hopefully there's a second continent somewhere. Barb, Barb clans, uh, Heroes of Legends, Monopolies and Corps, and Secret Societies all in the game. Uh, this is a seven seas map, standard minus one sieve. So I'm, a li we're talking about what the ideal start location would be for us, uh, or what our opening move is. I think settle in place is fine. There's a world in which I want to settle stone. We have a few dead tiles here. If I settle in place, we keep like a plus three holy site as an option, uh, which I like a good bit. If we settle in place, then I have three potential spots for my Acropolis, which is certainly not bad. We could try to do something like Machu Picchu if we have more um, if we have more mountain tiles. That would be pretty. That would pretty be pretty nice. Gotta love the extra wild card policy slot. One of the best abilities in the whole game is uh, is the extra wild card slot. Um, the other, the, the one thing I'm debating is like, do I settle this stone? We get a two two base and then have two two tiles. Slightly more defensive. We're potentially moving near mountains, which are here. Um, but we're actually not moving towards a lot that's good in this direction based on our warrior movement. Um, so I actually think it's just settle in place and see what happens with this game. Turn one settle is kind of a big deal, uh, but not having the extra production is a bit of a bummer. So I, I, I think I think if I'm not settling in place, the move I go with is settle the stone, but I'm just going to settle in place. So we do have another mountain. Um, we've got a lot of stone. That, that'll be really good for chopping. This might be an ancestral hall game, uh, which could be quite good. Working a 2-2 two -two tile, as we should. Uh, we have resources to improve early on. I do want to think about that religion and just the potential of this plus three holy site being quite good. So this is more fresh water. Um, scouting in that direction is pretty tempting. Except that it's a lake. Which is a bit of a bummer. We found coast right north of us. Okay, so that's kind of picked the wrong direction, but we can see what's what uh, and send our scouts south. We're, we're, we're more towards the top of the map than the bottom of the map, but we're obviously at least somewhat equatorial with the uh, jungle tiles that are here. Uh, and we could do something like government plaza. I'm already thinking about districts here. It's going to be a wonder spam game. I kind of hope so, but I don't know so. may loop back around with the warrior. Yeah, let's go this way. I like this mausoleum city a lot. Um, potentially a settle on the olives. It does take two tiles away from my cap. Two very productive, nice hill tiles. We already have a few dead tiles in the mountains, so we want to be mindful of that. That's obviously not a deal breaker or anything, um, but just something to think about. And honestly, the double olives. Um, olives doing what? I got to remember Monopolies and Corporations. I still don't know this game mode. Um, oops. Uh, olives being production towards civilian units. Okay, so Mausoleum with Liang is kind of maybe a thing. We'll see. Kind of interesting. Not going to save this. I don't want to send my scout in this direction. We don't have the extra policy in. Like the first scout move is probably move here and cross the river. What are pearls? Good question. Pearls being faith. The Void Invite, and a second population. Not the worst this early. Turn six, second population. Actually, don't hate it. Um, gives us a little more culture and uh, science as well. Hey, Pent. Glad you're here. Um, 
Likely we want void. Am I holding this governor policy? Um, Magnus into settler spam is crazy. That makes it hard to wonder spam. Um, am I am I holding on to this? Or do we just throw Magnus? It's going to be so long before I can chop. Could have iron here, here, here. I think I hold on to this for now. Yeah, Liang gives us extra builders. And Liang likes to be in your coastal mausoleum city. Um, because of her uh, fisheries. Okay, interesting. We know this is seven C's, so we know it's going to be a little bit, uh, a little bit goofy. We can go right into a settler now. Um, normally, I'm I kind of snap the second scout, but some of that is you don't have the growth right away. I think I want to go right into a settler. I don't have a third tile. I want to work anyways. And then maybe we get lucky and can, like, either get another settler with gold or something like that. Marsupial, thank you for the follow. Take the hill movement. We have a lot of olives, so that could be an early um, monopoly kind of a thing. It does. Yeah, if we hard tech astrology, we go right into the holy site, which is pretty interesting. Could give us a good amount of faith for a monumentality golden age. Let's cross the river here. Please. Please. Greek olives a little on the nose. <laughs> been busy, so I've only been half lurking. Saw a notification about Pericles and had to come by to troll about city states. Love it. I absolutely love it. Thank you so much, Sarge. Thank you. Welcome back. Good to see you. 67 months is nuts. Busy is good. Busy is good. I hope I hope it's it is actually good. Astrology boost in five. Don't say that, white nerdy. Why would you say that? If you don't know, uh, if they have already found a wonder and you sues them, you don't actually get it. What am I? What are we doing? This are we hard teching astrology with the idea that we go right into the holy site and get benefits from candy? My man. All the bonus for Monopoly are is civilian production, which is not great. Let's um let's keep an eye on our appeal lens as we're scouting. I don't want to stumble into a wonder necessarily. And do I want to explore this coast? I don't really want to cuz my I don't want to push my warrior further away. Um Bianto, thank you for the follow. Welcome. Wonder tile here. This could be a camp. Oh. So should I go discover it then? Even though I'll never get the relic from it? What wonder is this? No, this is copper. Oh, but it does... Um, It's... um. Double the yields. It's... uh. We, we just had this. It's... Kill, uh... Not Kilimanjaro. Taurus. It's Taurus. Oh, it can't be because it doesn't have this. I don't know what it is. Huh. Yeah, double food. You're right. It doesn't have double food on it. It still seems like that is the wonder, though. I'm going to be so sad if we if we find a wonder. Okay, Leventa's great. Uh, they already have an envoy there. Training galley. 
Is it just copper? I thought copper was only one gold initially. I could be wrong, though. Sometimes I don't remember things. Do we have any copper on the map? No. It is two? Okay, so it's just copper. All right, well... I don't mind the route we've taken. I kind of, I, I, I'm lamenting not getting this vision, but looping the warrior back around is probably good anyways. Three turns on our Sue's. It's just going to be a little bit awkward trying to get through. It is indeed just copper. Okay. My bad, my bad. We got excited about nothing. Suppose I could go try to go through here. What's the appeal of this tile? It's one. So this should be open, or at least is potentially open. So I really want to find a spot for this second city. Um, we're going quickly. I don't want to loop back like that, though. Maybe it's just here. Yeah. Because we can just come settle this regardless. Government Plaza thoughts, none so far. Don't like the lakes, do like the rivers. Move. Nice. I really don't want to find a wonder this turn. Two turns on Code of Laws. I wonder if I would delay this for the XP. Uh, we've grown that third population not doing all that much for us. There's a volcano over here. All right, let's see what we get. Sues, we find the twins, we find foreign trade, which is outstanding, bunch of geothermals, like the wine as well, uh, olive corporation, we also have gypsum on our continent, as well as ivory, that ivory is pretty nice, there's a goody hut over there, oh, and we got to, we got to Code of Laws right on time, that's actually beautiful, I did not anticipate that hap happening. Um, I think I'm going to run Survey and God King here. We do have one Faith per turn, but let's go ahead and, and get our Pantheon as fast as possible. I don't have Barbs to kill quite yet. Hi, Merakai. Hi, Dwarves. Welcome in, everybody. Welcome, welcome. Envoy, you say? So I could get a third Faith per turn. Rushing to our Pantheon isn't that good. I see this. I obviously see this, and it's a little it's a little worrying with our um with our settler coming out. Do I save this envoy or do I send it out? I kind of want like the value of getting a second one. Pericles is an amazing culture sieve, um, but you can kind of play him any way you want. His, his Acropolis is great, but you don't have to do tourism with it necessarily. No specific goals other than Apadana in terms of, of my expectations or desires. Have Wukong and the twins. So another sieve over here potentially. We know they've been met, hopefully down here. I think I'm going to hold on to the Envoy. Is there a specific pantheon we want to make sure of? Wow, with three religious city-states. Uh, we should definitely get a holy site. That's interesting. This is also not a first meet. So many th fissures to science and, and religion. Those two don't get along. Same thing. I'm, I think I'm holding this envoy. You can do Diplo quite well with Pericles as well, uh, given that you get extra Diplo favor. We got whales. 
Which are production towards military units. So many olives. We'll we'll definitely have the olives. Uh, corporation. And they picked up the copper and the wheat. Uh, I assume we're settling this at some point. So we're not too sad about this. Thinking about buying a second scout, but if we uh, like, I I don't know how long to delay my holy site here. Um, where's this city go? Down this way, right? Like maybe we have it meet the warrior over here. Even over here on the gypsum would be a pretty sweet city. Hey, Leaf, welcome, welcome. Wow, um, that not being a first meet is a little alarming. That's awesome, Joe. Who f completed an OCC is a heck of an accomplishment. Congratulations. I kind of want to double back with this scout, knowing that someone else is over here. Lee, thank you for the brand new prime. Welcome, welcome. I think I want to double back. This is interesting. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Really appreciate the prime. Um, monument now. Second settler now. What if we just went for a second settler? Yeah, who'd you play as? I'm curious. Buy a slinger. I think I'd rather buy units from the barb camps. They, t they you usually get good value from them. The slinger's not bad though. I thought clay must. But that's gonna be a problem. We're gonna sort of settler explore. Mining or horses? I don't mind finding horses kind of right away with this one. We probably have them here. Could be government plaza stuff like here. Play with Vietnam. Nice. Well done. Well done. This is where the slinger would actually be quite good. What if I moved all the way over here? Why single scout? Because we got a population goody hut. And it just kind of made sense to me to try to go that route. I'm thinking of buying a second one next turn. And I'm thinking of coming over here and like settling the gypsum. We'll want something in between. Assuming this warrior can even handle the camp on its own. 
Is the scout from the camp we're attacking? You know what? That was a good question, and I did not find the answer. I don't think so. It came from this direction. I have not played Alpha Century, no. Amber being a Monopoly option. Guess I'm going this way. I don't love it. Goody Hut is nice. This would have been a fine spot for a second city. We are settler exploring, yes. Is that a... That's a fourth religious city-state. This one is a first meet. That's very promising. Rock Vulture. Oh, it is. It actually is. I didn't expect that. Wow, Sacred Path available. I want to take this after our Pantheon selection. Because uh, I don't want the Eureka for founding a Pantheon. Um, so this is interesting. Yeah, Oracle by all the great people. Oracle is a great play with Pericles. A um, little bit tempted by, by Sacred Path given all of the, uh, all of the jungle tiles. Uh, what else would be good for us? Obviously, River Goddess could be quite good for us, uh, as it was last game. Getting nice tall cities on a new and wet map is uh, is pretty decent. I couldn't do it for Brazil. It does seem fitting. And it's turn 25. It's kind of sad that it wasn't here. Uh, but yeah, I think Sacred Path. Um, where does that put our holy site for our cap? Like, how good is it actually? It's only plus three. I wish I could get rid of this and put it here. Like, it doesn't actually benefit here. It will benefit that city. It'll certainly benefit, like, this coastal city. Can I search, search rainforest? Sure. I didn't know you could search for burning rainforest. 56. Like that. I think, I think it's got to be Sacred Path. Like we don't have to chop we, we we can still chop a lot of it, right? But like it's just gonna give us solid holy sites across the board. I I think Sacred Path and Work Ethic is kind of the route I'm thinking. Is that a reef? No. Okay. Very interesting. River Goddess could be good too, but let's go ahead and take Sacred Path. Oya and 75 gold, you say? Some nice amber. This thing is 140. Yeah, I like the amber city. I, I kind of want to settle it down here. We can get a third Amber. Amber is what? Faith Yield? <gasps> oh. Still think I'm gonna go over to the gypsum. Do 
Do I need multiple cities over here? I still think I can get them, right? More olives. It's a cool map so far. Don't need God King anymore. We'll bring in Discipline. Hi, Valks. What's for lunch today? Go for Oracle right away is interesting. Next turn we find horses. Um, the This is going to be the rare, very rare ranger selection, I think. Um... Yeah, very rare, but I think Ranger looks good here, just at least for our next move or two. And again, we know we're equatorial, so why not lean into it? May make sense to hold off getting, wait, getting what? Oh, first Envoy in Nazca as well. We could Suze them. It might get us a wonder. Why am I settling so far away? It's a really good question. Oftentimes you want to settle your, your next city as fast as you can because you get it going. But I, I feel like because this was a first meet in Nazca, um, th there's a, there's all of this land should be mine and I want a second city to be able to like produce settlers from and come and settle even more aggressively. Um, and then, and then our, our next city can also like, we're just going to establish a huge, huge empire and sort of backfill with cities cause we're going settler, settler. Um, it, it does seem weird. I, I admit, but I, I think I like that. I like it a lot. Actually, this is a, um, plus f five holy site. There's some really nice districts all throughout here. I think we suze and hope that we can find a wonder with candy. Found Maui. We give them multiple farm tiles. Uh, and then that's potentially another sieve down there. Wow, no wonders. A couple goody huts. I mean, it's great vision. I'm not. I'm not upset about suzing them. There's no real desert city for us to take advantage of just yet. If there are no dogs. So indeed, there are horses here. That's actually a decent industrial zone. I obviously don't care a whole lot about that. What's up, Doc? Welcome, welcome. I'm disappointed by... God, I want this city so bad. And this this does indeed look like it was a forest fire or something. I'd love to come settle this. More horses here as well. I, th I still like the gypsum settle a lot. It's a 2-2 base. It'll give us a resource. It just gets really, really good districts. It gobbles up almost too much land, but we could put an aqueduct city in here somewhere pretty happily. And this is Volcano. So what? where's our Caps Holy Site go? Strangely enough, our Cap kind of gets doesn't get that much better with our Pantheon. I still can't believe I haven't discovered Astrology, though. Mining and Masonry so I can clear this. I'm being a bit greedy with the uh, Eureka for Holy Sites. Alright, and she is the one that was over here. Do you have a wonder? It's sheep. 
This looks like a wonder. Did she settle with... Like, what is happening here? Oh, it's deer. Never mind. And that's gypsum. Okay. Well... Yeah, the volcano's not super exciting, but... And then just gypsum, right? We just commit to this. Otherwise, it's like geothermal fissure. I could get another city, like, right over here. Something in between. Yeah, let's just do it. This is Sparta. This is our one spot for a necropolis, though. We need to keep that in mind. So, actually, this holy site can't go there. Oh, no. It can actually go below us, can't it? Oh, and then this is somebody. We'll find them in a second, I guess. Buenos Aires. Welcome in, everybody. Hi, Polly. Yeah, running lots of mods. Well, hello. I have good news for you, my friend. Oh, you don't want it? Yeah, exclamation point mods. Should you like a mod list? Flamio, hot man. Hey. Hope you have been well, smiley face. Likewise, likewise. Xylus, thank you so much. I guess I should have sent delegations. I was I'm thinking for another I was thinking for another unit or honestly even a trader. If I can kill this and get a trader going, like getting some road infrastructure here would be really, really nice. Why is there a city pin here? Oh, just because I was looking at where we are on the map. Want to buy a natural wonder. Paying well. What you building there, friendo? It's got all the copper building in Temenaki. So two turns I could buy the trader. I think we build the monument by a trader in two turns. And then where's this city go? I love the idea of this amber settle, but now I kind of want to cut off the Aztecs. How about just here? Volcano's annoying, because that's kind of where a holy site wants to go. I mean, either way, I, I'm pretty sure we're heading down south. Need to cut Wilhelmina off as well. Okay, he gets it. 
So his science is going to be a little nutty. Started playing this game on Xbox and wondering if the PC Civ 6 is a couple updates ahead. It is, yeah. Um, they often release the same updates for, um, for console, but often it takes uh, a little bit longer. I believe they have a third party that does it for them. So oftentimes the answer is yes. Norway, huh? And that was no that is Norway all the way down here. Building his ships. That's cool. You guys do your thing. Just let me have all the land. He already has gypsum. I have to pay for this, basically. Uh, I guess I should have bought the 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 trader first. There's an amazing olive city here. But there's also olives up here. Where I, I really am going to have to think about monopolies a lot more in this game. I'm just still not super familiar with playing them. And actually a bunch of people on our continent. So Monopoly is not a given. Not a given. He will. Yeah. And 16 gold per turn. Good call, Hogue. Uh, selling this is nuts. Like that is so much gold right now. So much gold. And I just don't need the resource right now. Stonehenge going wonders going very quickly. You find yourself in a hole. Monty has some nice cities. Um, this is a bit aggressive, but I like this settle. It just blocks all this stuff and this city like this city potentially grows very very large. How greedy am I with this? It's, it feels very painful. You think hard tech now, White? Um, I did drop a single sieve. I did indeed. Um, yeah, two sieves already working on this. So what, what's our route going to be here? These routes aren't great. We could go to Candy. Leventa, actually? Where's Leventa? Oh, down here. We get an extra faith if we do that. I'm trying to figure out where I want to buy the... Uh, I could honestly just run something internal. We have a bunch of gold already with uh, with the trade with, with Norway. I don't need this. I wish I could go Sparta to Nazca or something like that. Look at all these warriors running around. And I didn't... I don't have that vision, which is a bummer. I think I actually run something internal. Oh, it's one wait 170 for a trader why did i think it was 140. don't mind me a 
a little scared of him. Yeah, I must be new to the game. I'm two gold off. Got a battering ram. That's that's a little alarming. Oh, this is this is a envoy. It's such a bad road, though. Wow, the candy road is decent. I'm still just going to go to Leventa. Means I probably won't get this Eureka this age, though. Like, if I have to reinforce cities down here, I want this road real bad. It'll be slightly off, but it'll be fine. And this also gives me a faith per turn, which I think is decent. The other thing we could do there is send the trade route in reverse after we buy this city for loyalty purposes. Ten turns on the ancient era. This is so fast. And I really don't want a Amani World Tour. Um, wow, not, not getting the wonder is really bad for us. There are other goody huts up here. It also might be worth it to levy and grab these goody huts with Candy's warriors. I may actually do that. By the monument, I think I have to levy. I still need a bunch more um, era score though. Ethiopia and Netherlands warring. With the sun hey. shining. Hey, medic order. There's our relic. There's the astrology boost. Um, that was three. So we actually found that before Wilhelmina. And I may now, after... Um, oh, I could also get a hero. I could sneak in a hero here. Maui's not super exciting right now. Settle it? I mean, I'd love to. Yeah, Maui for luxuries in a in a in a uh, Monopoly's game actually is not bad. Yeah, I think you're right. I do value it a bit higher then. All right, and that gets us a relic, which is super nice. Gonna get another governor title in two. The timing of this buy is going to be strange. Need seven era score. A 
physician without a knowledge. Holy Sight is nine turns. That is slightly behind. But this would be a plus three. I need seven era score somehow. Three could, if I could somehow get this mon or this uh, holy site in time. Is there a tile array that would allow me to do that? I don't think so. That's true. We will get the hero. And I don't have an Amani World Tour to really even take advantage of, do I? I would have needed to send this uh, trader out there for the Envoy and move Amani. That might have secured our Golden. As it stands, it's a little bit dicey. Only two people working on religion. Yeah, I think we're going to have to put a pause in the video. I think it's going to be... So, two for this, and then Levy plus two, and we're, we're going to have to find two somewhere else as well. It's going to be difficult, but uh, it's possible that we can still pull off this Golden Age. I'd really like to do it, given that we have a Relic already. Uh, but this one's flying by already. Pretty aggressive on my on my part, going Settler, Settler like this. Um, we might really need the Golden Age, actually. We can check in on score... And we see that Monty actually has his Golden Age secured. Uh, so that's troubling. Um, in fact, most other sieves do. Norway, not necessarily. A couple sieves may be missing theirs, but unlikely, I think. We could move Amani around, but I don't have a... I don't have a, a... I guess I could go to Mysticism. We just lose out on a Relic if we... Uh, actually, no, I don't. We should move Amani around. That'll be how we do it. All right. We'll figure it out when we get back in the next video. Thank you, YouTubers. Thank you so much for watching. Twitch.tv slash The Game Mechanic. Join us live in person on the internet. We'll see you then.